Sauce Gang and welcome back to the channel. Hot Sauce Beats here with another dope Hammer Nations reaction. That is right, our favorite animator, Bryson, aka Hammer Nations, is back with a brand new video. And this is called The Future is Scary, and here is why. Ooh, maybe we're gonna get a new scary Hammer Nations video, or he's just gonna murder the whole population because that's that's what we get in Hammer Nation animations. We get lots of murder and blood, which by the way, this is the start of my birthday week and nothing makes me more happy than celebrating by reacting to a new Hammer Nations video. But before we jump into this, why don't you show Bryson, AKA Hammer Nation some love by subscribing to his channel. And if you enjoy my reaction, smash that subscribe button because it greatly helps. But enough talking. Let's get to reacting and roll that bomb acid drum. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Eat, sleep, make beats. Eat, sleep, make beats. Hot sauce beats. Woo -hoo! Let's go, Bryson. Show us what the future is scary about. Oh, dude, come on. I love Welcome it. to our robot show. This love cutting edge robot animation. can do amazing things. Observe. Oh, God. It's about to murder people. Will they start a robot it. uprising? No, we have several contingencies oh. in place. Do they like hugs? Wh what? Do they? Excuse me. Do they like hugs? I... What? I don't trust it. <laughs> He's got his own bow. Prepare to die, human. Wait. Not him. But I hugged you. So make sure you you pet your AI robot so they'll put you in a hamster cage when they take over the world. Chat GPT, everyone. Enjoy! Hi, I'm Bryson, and today <laughs> I'm going to be talking about what I want the future to be like and also more realistic futuristic ideas that scare me. Disclaimer, Dude, I am not a scientist, about this too. I am not smart, I barely graduated high school, and like every other YouTuber, I dropped out of college. So take this with a grain of salt. I did graduate college! <laughs> Ew. Let's start with the <laughs> holy grail of science fiction ideas. Time travel. Imagine the discoveries. <laughs> Dang, we were way off. But also, imagine if instead of taking an object through time, you take time through an object. Picture this. Oh no, I burnt my pizza. But if I put it in my time-powered uncooker, we can take the pizza back in time to when it wasn't burnt. I would love to have an uncooker, but then I realized an uncooker is also just an immortality machine. Just hop Literally. in and regain your youth. Just Literally. don't stay in too long, though. Hey, get out! Aww. Mama. I have lived a thousand lifetimes. Your puny mind is nothing compared to my vast intellect. Do you want some mushy carrots? Yes, please. Time travel would also allow for a whole new- Why is a deep and, and low voice always so scary when it sounds like, sounds like, sounds like- Sounds like this. Everything is so much scarier. I don't know why it just terrifies everything. <laughs> All right, we're back. New level of fun pranks. For example, if someone disagrees with me, I just go back in time to when they were a baby and press the soft spot in their head as hard as I can. Yeah, Avatar The Last Airbender is a terrible show. Where does he show. get this Bad from, world dude? building, stupid magic system, and dumb characters. Oh, God. Also, Uncle Iroh is the worst character. <laughs> cool opinion. Excuse me for a moment. Cool opinion. <laughs> oh. Classic prank, am I right? This next billion dollar idea that I definitely made up is a portal gun. Bryson, you are literally built different, fam, and every single one of us love you for it. Stay yourself, keep it 100, and never change. Imagine the possibilities. You could do the infinite fall thing, travel great distances, and put a portal on the moon. Ah! 
You'd have to be careful, yeah, though. Fired. If you had your arm in the portal and the portal closed, it would cut off your arm. That reminds me. Cloning. Oh. Basically, it scares me, and I don't like it. What? I've heard stories like where people either. cloned their pet, but the pet just wasn't the same. It all makes me uncomfortable. So I just so would not want to see a clone of myself on the street. That's all I'm saying. Dude, what? I'm, I'm standing right here. I mean, have you heard of those identical twins? <laughs> Freaks. Are you kidding me? I'm so glad I don't have a twin. All right, I mean, it. what if he beats me up? But if this technology is coming whether I like it or not, I might as well embrace it. You sure this is safe? I don't know. <laughs> huh? It didn't work. Let me try again. Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> oh no, I hit the button too many times and overloaded the system. They're kind of cute. Well, regardless, they are failed clones, so we'll have to incinerate them. <laughs> I think I lost him. So, back to the future. Wait, that's not that's not what I meant. <laughs> Literally back to the future. <laughs> Universal translator. It works on animals too. Don't ask me how that it would, would be work. cool. I would love to have a conversation with intelligent animals. Excuse me, Mr. Orca. Do you like I, living in no. SeaWorld? Please stop capturing my kind and forcing us into a dependent relationship with humans to justify the inhumane conditions we live in. Set us free, please. I beg you. This is a nightmare. <laughs> oh. Do you want to fish? <clears throat> Sorry, that got a little dark. Let's lighten the <laughs> mood by trying the translator on my dog, Bo. Error. No thoughts detected. <laughs> yeah. I thought so. We love Bo. Next idea. We love Bo. The Insta Sleep Pillow. This would help people who have trouble falling asleep, but it would also make for a very fun and higher stakes pillow fight. And what about perpetual motion? I actually designed a working oh, prototype that could provide free energy space, for bro. all of us. Here's how it works. <laughs> oh my god, run! Little, little, little mini, mini Haminations, mini Brysons are gonna take a- oh, dude. There's no brain of bueno. This is why it's a good thing, Bryson, that you're an animator and not a brilliant scientist in charge of cloning. Thank you, sweet baby Jesus. Amen. Stop right there! Get on the ground now! Not one more step! I will shoot! Oh my god, chainsaws in my house i clearly have a no chainsaw rule in my home fam chainsaws outside enough said That's a pretty awesome question though <sighs> meh it's probably fine although these futuristic devices are super awesome and i can't wait to have them there are some inevitable inventions that will be invented in the next few years that i fear deeply Let's get the obvious one out of the way. Robot uprising. Pretty common fear, but I take it to another level. My parents' house has a Google Home that can turn the lights on and off. When I was living there, before I went to bed, I would say please and thank you to the Google Home when turning off the lights, just in case. <laughs> and I'm sure glad I you did. Gotta have manners. Because look how well off I am now. <sighs> get your exercise, go run in the wheels. <laughs> Go run it, yeah! Artificial <laughs> intelligence is pretty scary, but it's also useful. And that's why this script was written entirely by ChatGPT. <laughs> Just kidding. The animation was made by AI, though. Does it look good? Yeah? 
Or what about genetic modification? There are possible good uses. It could be used to accelerate healing if someone's hurt. You could change your appearance like your eye or hair color. But I also think it could go too far. People could become uncannily attractive, be stronger and healthier, and live longer. You could basically become a superhero. Would you like us to oh. remove the no-flying gene that was invented by Sir Isaac Newton, Mr. Bryson? <laughs> yes. Yahoo! There we go, it's a Bryson. Bird. Shoot it down. It's a balloon. Shoot it down. It's a blonde guy? Shoot it down. <laughs> Wait, what was that last one? What scares oh, me Bryson. is that unfortunately oh, genetic chat. modifications oh, will Bryson. probably lead to a whole new class divide. Get back to the test chamber, you lab rat! I am objectively better than you in every way. You must be removed from the gene pool. Wait, what? Also, what about this? A 3D printer that prints a 3D printer, which in turn produces a 3D printer, and then the world is taken over by 3D printers. Last but not least, Science. living forever. What does that imply? You just get progressively older and older, but technology keeps you alive? Would you become a cyborg? Would you need to replace your face every hundred years with a new one? Would you eventually be entirely robot? That just doesn't sound fun. I don't want my body to become the ship of Theseus. However, eternal youth does sound fun. And I would like to live pretty long, but even with eternal youth, I think eventually I would like to pass away. Uh, uh, not, not right now, though. <laughs> Later. Uh, yeah, please. G g go away. <laughs> that sounds Get pretty out dark, here. Person. Get out hey, of here. I didn't ask to be made. Then die. Wait, what? <laughs> this is so sad. Bryce I will is be gone missed, forever. And I was very cool. We miss Wait, you. Wait, what? In conclusion, technology is amazing, and I can't wait to see where it goes. Hopefully towards the helpful and fun side. Unfortunately, I can't build any of these inventions because I'm not exactly smart. But I can draw the inventions sure and I can, can dream. Oh, no! No! It's like the first time he's died in this episode. Mama? Mama. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, he controls um, them. I command you to make a hole in that wall. <laughs> hmm. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't Let's forget go! to check out the new Brother Bryson They're so silly, and I really hope you like them as much as Dude, I those do. Also, look pretty we got dope. some other back to school merch. Check all that out in the link in the description. And while you're down there, don't forget to check out my new card game, Hoard the Hams. An official announcement and Kickstarter are coming soon, but if you support early, you'll get a discount and an exclusive thank you card, so don't miss out. Thanks for all the growth on the channel recently. We hit 4 million subscribers at VidCon. Wow! Also, thanks to my team for their amazing animation and background skills. Okay, I'm gonna go touch grass now. Bye! Touch it! All right, let me bring you in, Sauce Gang! Dude! I just, him and Asians is just built different, fam. It's always like such a pleasure to react to his videos. I love them. You know, you're guaranteed to be entertained for however long the video is, eight to 15 minutes, and you're gonna laugh. You're gonna see some action. You're gonna see some explosions. You're gonna see some death, but it's gonna be funny death. I had an absolute blast reacting to this, and I gotta say, call me crazy. I am scared of future technology too, and especially artificial intelligence. But I will also say please and thank you because I would like to be uh, preserved and not gone forever. So, Terminators, please don't take us out. We love living. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, why don't you show Ham Nation some love by subscribing to the channel. And because it's my birthday week, if you made it this far, please smash that subscribe button because it greatly helps and it's absolutely free. And I appreciate it too. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and remember, it's easy sleep and make beats, and as usual, we come to one another. That's all I got. Boom, I'm out. Gotta be done for the sauce gang. Peace out, guys. Thank you, Bryson, for another amazing video. Woo-woo!